What's going on, everybody? My name is Jordan, and welcome to. Well, let's see, it's not two twenty-five. It's not. I can't call it the two twenty-five edition if it's not two twenty. But I just kind of like that. Welcome to the two twenty-five edition because everybody has like their own little thing that they do. Do I need a thing? Comment below if I actually need a thing. I think it should be hashtag hate Columba. But then there was one person in the comments who was like, I was actually looking for Columba. I was like, well, I'm sorry, okay? There are plenty of places to find Columba, and a $129 update is not one of them, okay? And we're not going to talk about that. We're This is happy time today. This is the day that I finally, because I've been talking about this stupid refill for I don't know how long, but it's a refill that I made. And it's basically, I wanted a way to mix drum like mix drums in a preliminary mix at like two in the morning uh when i'm most productive i wanted a way to be able to mix off of a drum kit in reason that was midi and the thing is because as most of you know if you are recording a real drum set it's probably not sampled so it's difficult to at least for me it was difficult to try to find another set of sa of mul like a multi-sample drum kit that would sound good that I can mix off of that was close enough to my real kit. And then I was like, well, why don't you just sample the kit the exact way that you record it? Now that's in my room. That's not good. Like it isn't a, it, it's not what you want. So it's not a good room. The, the heads are old. Um, this is one of the symbols. It's a stack. This, 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 uh, this refill comes with two stacks. This is a this is a 14 inch Wuhan traditional. All the symbols are Wuhan traditional, by the way, and a crappy TKO that I don't know if you can see it. But it's warped more than like. A, I was going to say, like, I don't know, uh, somebody's sense of humor. I can't think of anybody's sense of humor that would be. War yeah, you can fill in the blanks. It's not a big deal. There's a beta 52 in the kit in the kick. Um, they're like the T the TD four elevens or four twelves or something like that. The CAD Tom mics. Uh, and then there are some CAD, they're CAD pencil mics are like yay big. And they're like $30 that I use for overheads. Actually, no, I didn't for the right overhead for the right overhead. I used this Excel van like uh, bl blue bottle mistake it was not it was like it, it i don't know it's 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 a decent like mic I, it's not at all it's it's pretty it's pretty cheap this was twelve dollars <laughs> this is twelve dollars so you can imagine why i'm charging 99 dollars for this refill. no i'm just kidding absolutely not i mean this is a free refill there's no way i would charge for this um, but why don't we, why don't we, uh, why don't we dive into it and you can, you can judge for yourself how bad it is. But the thing was, it's like most people, when they sample drums, they get the best drum kits possible in the best room possible with the best mic placement possible with the best mics possible with the best drum heads and, and cymbals possible and with the best processing possible. And then they sell it for money and it's great. But the thing is, that's not how my kit sounds. So and then that's the problem is like a lot of people, they'll go out and buy Superior Drummer or they'll buy uh, Steven Slate drums or something like that. So they have all these m amazing professional drums and then their guitar tone sucks and then not everybody, but then their guitar tone sucks. So it sounds fake because you have this super amazing drum sound and then these terrible guitar uh, guitars, even if they're not terrible, they're still they may not be recorded in the same way as the drums were. You know what I mean? So by using this, I have a much more realistic sound. I, and I don't think it's bad. And let's actually just dive into it. Uh, this this one is is just one combinator, just straight, just one combinator. There it is. Right now, if I hit a button, it's going to play. There are some other ones here. Um, I have the outboard processing, no mixing. So that's basically all of these. Don't don't try to drag these into a already made pro project unless you're ready to do all the all it takes to do the routing. I recommend you, you look at these two project files beforehand so then you can see how it's actually routed. And then if you want to, you can bring those into already made projects, you know, or you can just make them. You can just use these as templates. But I mean, it's no problem with that. And this is, this is all free are two cool samples in here. This is a public domain kick sample. And you might say, oh, yuck, Jordan. It's terrible. Am I recording? Yeah, I am. 
uh, you might say it's terrible. It was well, it was on free sound and it actually really helps the kick along. And it's, uh, you know, it's mixed in there. And this is also this is a sub kick sample. And it's actually not really a sub kick. A sub kick, for those of you who don't know, is a little microphone that is it's actually a speaker that is put in front of the kick drum that enhances the sub uh, the sub frequencies or captures the sub frequencies. And this is in all of these kits, uh, but it's just the one. I, I made it with a, pr a plugin called SK10, which allows you to um, mimic a, a, a Yamaha sub kick. And it's just the one. I could have done a full sampling of it i could have I, I could have you can i won't because that's more time it's also the reason why there's no freaking ride symbol in here because i can't be, i honestly i can't be bothered it's, i don't have the amount of times that i use the ride symbol is so low i mean when i'm playing sure i'm not bothered with the ride symbol with this this is like i did however and i will tell you this i know you must be dying i have to put an annotation in here somewhere to just skip all the gubbins and just hear the dang kit and i will do that but this is fairly entertaining, so I don't know why you would ever want to do that. And if you did, you're ashamed. But maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. But anyway, I just sampled uh, my church's kit before we trans transformed it into a hybrid electric kick. I want to make a video about that. But um, that one's got a lot more velocity hits. Uh, it's got multiple snares, multiple mics and stuff like that. So that's going to be amazing. But this one is the way my kit is right now with like nine, four. 14 velocity hits per so it's three soft three medium three hard and like five like heavy like heavy hard hits because most people just crank the velocities anyway so it doesn't matter so let me show you what it sounds like uh oh super ghetto I don't know how that I'm I don't know what what it what that was but it was something it was it allows you to hear what it sounds like and it's funny I've actually edited this video the sub kick was too loud so I have now recompiled this specific version uh because the, the sub kick was way too loud I hope you liked it uh let me show you what is going on behind the scenes here so we have this 116.4 or whatever this thing is called mixer, and this is where all the magic is happening. And these are all obviously in, you know, fully functional, so you can mess with them. I have four reverbs down here. So, I mean, these are basically self-explanatory. Kick, snare, tom, hi-hat, overhead, left, right. So this is these are the two overheads. Uh, room mics. These are both panable. These are stereo room mics, so just on their own. Uh, so if we... Um, if we just record a quick, uh, it'll work. Oops. Oh, dang it. It's going to annoy me the whole time. There we go. Not like it matters, but whatever. Okay. 
So there are a couple of mics. Uh, so these are so the kick is a beta 52. This is a digital the snare is a digital projects DRI 100. It's not a 57. I like the DRI 100 because it has more low end and like like m low mid range, which most people are like, oh, yuck. It's like, well, there's a lot of body that this adds to the snare. So you don't have this ping, ping, ping with every 57 hit that you usually get where you have to add a bunch of room and EQ and all this stuff. The toms are these crappy, what are they? TSM 411s, CAD TSM 411s. And CAD's like, oh, well, we were gonna sponsor this guy, not anymore after he's capping on our mics. But that's on Tom 1, Tom 2, and the floor Tom. Uh, and then we also have the uh, hi-hat and right overheads, which are these uh, CAD, um, I don't know where they are right now. I think they're in my backpack, but these little CAD mics. Actually, the hi-hat is that one. Uh, the, the right overhead is this monstrosity. It's an Exelvan. Uh, it's like a blue, like, ripoff. And this was $12 on Amazon. <laughs> so that is what the, what the uh, right overhead is. Uh, let me show you what these overheads sound like on their own. So you'll notice that there's bleed in all of those. The only thing there isn't bleed in is I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Well, no, yeah, there, there's no there's no bleed in the close mics. So because there's no reason to do that. Why? Would, I mean, there is something like Superior Drummer 3 now has bleed and everything and you can add it. There's no reason to do that. I just in my opinion, it's like you want clean stuff. Uh, here's the kick on its own. Normal Beta 52, the DRI 100 snare. Decent, you know. Um, here's the toms. On their own. And then I think we, do we already do the room mics? Here the room mics. Uh, and then we have the sub kick. There you go. Uh, and then we also have, so we have these last ones, which are unisons. Uh, so the snare unison is actually not being used right now. You'll notice. Uh, these are for, so the snare, the snare unison and the tom unison are default, not in use. The extra kick is, and I'll show you what that is. That's like a little snare sample. That's that Matthias uh, kick sample that I told you about. So if we if we go down here, let me get a little more real estate here. We don't need all this stuff. Uh, so, oh man, can I move this over? That would be nice. Oh, that is so much better. I can actually see it on my screen now. Okay, so it looks a little scattershot. It's not. So here, uh, obviously the mixer, and I have some EQ going on in there, and I've got my panning done in here. The next one is the mixer down here. So it's got a room. So I've got four Mark II RV7000s in here. So you'll need Reason 9 to be able to do this. Uh, the room IR is actually not an IR. I, for simplicity's sake, I made these all just the actual algorithms, like not the not the convolution. So you'll actually have to move. So I have, and everybody, these are free. So the, 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 the new patches for the new reverb unit, you can grab, I recommend personally, you can just search in here. Studio B, um, any one of these, I usually use the near one. I usually use that um, uh, rip headphone users uh, and you just drag it in there. That's a really good room. Uh, what else? Um, oh my gosh. Um, and then the plate and that's to taste. You can use whatever plate I, this is actually not a plate. It's a hall. Um, so you can use whatever hall reverb you want. The gated reverb, the gate is actually on. So it's not a gated IR, uh, but it's just the plate that's gated. And then this one is a super verb, which is an, an extremely, extremely long, uh, re reverb. So I'll just show you what these sound like on their own because they're all on by default, uh, but they're muted here. So the only one that's not muted is the room. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play this little loop again real quick. One, two, three, four. Oh, 
I've got that freaking, uh, there we go. That's what that sounds like. Let's see what the gated sounds like. <laughs> 80s magic, dude. <laughs> 80s magic, I swear. And here's the super verb. So that's what that sounds like. <clears throat> and, and like I said, just the room on its own. Uh, and like I said, so this is in conjunction with the room mic here. Uh, so you'll you'll notice that there's already quite a bit of room reverb on the room mics themselves. That's because this isn't a very good room. But I'm just adding, I'm sort of reamping the room a little bit. But um, you'll so you can turn these volume knobs up, and that'll that'll uh, you know obviously adjust the intensity. So even with the room on its own, you can still get a pretty large, insane sound. And then here without the room. So not, you kind of want to leave both of those on. It's had so much life to it. It's so much better. Uh, so anyway, so that's how that goes. Uh, this is a filter for if you want to do those sort of, like if I map this to a um, rotary encoder. Which one was that? Did you do a five? There we go. So you can do one of these numbers. Oh, you can only do one of these numbers if you have the filter enabled. Filters, man, filters just make you want to go buy something, don't they? <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's got a filter? Mm. Uh, this, I don't even know what this is for. <laughs> the final, like, bit of, of processing that I put on this. So we've got these maximi the maximizer, the parametric EQ, all that stuff. So the final, the final bit they're going in here is, so I've got the reverb going there, the filter channel going it's going out of the filter channel into the soft tube out of the soft tube into the pulverizer out of the pulverizer into the parametric eq out of the parametric eq into the maximizer wait in the maximizer no out of the maximizer so where's the where does the parametric eq the desoculator that takes out all the 4k um Okay, and then that goes out. So the so the that this parametric key cue is the last the last bit in the processing chain. So that's why that is doing that. So this is just summing summing everything in some way. So <laughs> in some way. So I'm just gonna leave it there. I honestly, I it, this has been such a ridiculous process. But like I said, but it works at least now. So you'll see in, these are just um, naming convention thingies. So this, so like this micromix, for example, is not actually doing anything. I suppose you could make it do something if you wanted to. Uh, but these are just to make it so then these labels correspond because these are not, you can't double click on these labels. These are whatever the, the name of the patch is. So I just put each of them into these mixers as a wrapper to name them what I, what I wanted to name them, which is cool. Um, so you're free to rename them. And then all the rest of the stuff is self-explanatory. It's it's labeled. So the snare compression, uh, the snare EQ, tom, like I said, remember these are just labeling uh, labeling mixers here. Uh, so and then let's get into the the meat and potatoes of what's actually going on here. So these are all just Kong units. Uh, and since there's no there's no like modularness to this one to the, to this specific one, I didn't want there to be. I wanted this to be. I'm using my samples of my drums. There are ways to add your own, and I will show you that in just a second. But anyway, I didn't need there to be like this modular like oh it's an NXT here and an NXT here. I just I want it all to be Kong units because we all know how to use the Kong. So these are the close mics. These are the room mics. These are this is the hi hat overhead, the right overhead, and then the extra unisons. So those are those, and these have some extra processing, some transient shapers, things like that. Uh, but you'll see, I have the three velocities there: the medium, the hard. 
actually it's just five hard so they're not i don't have cracks they're just five hard of uh, hard um uh, uh velocities there uh so it's not as many as i thought so five six seven eight nine ten eleven so eleven velocities each so that's not that's not a crazy amount but it's 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 decent you know for for a, i mean it's free you know i mean so you, don't come crying to me <laughs> it doesn't have a ride symbol for crying out loud these are all mixable the nice thing is, is that these are all mixable so with the room mic for example if we solo start from the beginning again if we solo the room mics What's nice if is if the kick is too is too loud or not you know you can just there you go or if you want more hi hat in there you know you can do that you can do the exact same thing uh, with the overheads so if we. And you can pan the overheads. You can't pan the room mics. You it's like one global stereo pan, so it would just be like that. Um, you could make the mono if you felt like, um, like mono summing it. You could do that. Uh, but here, the what? So you can do the same thing with the uh, with the overheads. So if you want more kick in the right overhead for some reason, you hear it louder there. We could turn it up in this too. So if you felt like you could do things like that. Um, so those are those are fully controllable. If you want no toms in the overheads, you can do that, you know, so that, that that's but like I said, there's no bleed in the in the close mics, because like I said, we do so much to try to get bleed out of the close mics. What do you want bleed in the close mics for? That doesn't make any freaking sense. So you can add character from the other mics. Uh, and then the kick sub, as, as I said, oh, all of that is contained in the extra unisons. So this is where you would add your own samples if you felt like. So this is one mega thing. It's all linked to the group D here. And this is triggered via um, the, uh, the kick here. And this, they're, I'm using the MPD 218 to, um, to, uh, to trigger all this stuff. But you could, like on my piano here, It's it's all general like the general MIDI mapping. So these are hi hat, uh, closed, uh, chick, and then open, and then uh, kick, kick, well, sound different. I don't know if they are. Somebody leave in the comments if they sound different. And then snare, snare, so two things like that. This is just the, for some reason, this is just the sample. So like, that's no like actual kick. That's just the sample. So if you wanted to do that and then the toms and then that's, that's the big stack, little stack, high symbol, low symbol. And then there's nothing else past that. Um, but like I said, it's all in the standard general MIDI um, configuration. Same thing with the, the, the MPD, it's just standard. Um, but anyway, this is where if you wanted to add your own samples, you could. Uh, so uh, if we open up the drum thing here, you'll see that this first one is where the sub kick is. And it's actually pitch shifted down. So you can if you if it's too low for you, you can turn it up or turn it down or whatever. This is actually is this even being used? Yes, it is. This is where the the, the click is coming from. And then I've got this one, which is also being used. And. <coughs> I don't know why uh, it's oh it's actually not look see hit two so it's not even being triggered so what we can do is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it if you want to I might mess with it and I'll, I'll do one more compilation where this won't be here but if you wanted to because it's running so we put hit one in like that and then I can go over here I love this new everything bundle here so if I wanted to choose uh, let's actually do it with the snare um, so the snare unison, like I said, is not being used. So we can go to like shine birch, shine dry. So if you wanted to do that, I don't know why you would, but if you wanted to, you could do that. Um, and you could actually add the whole thing if you wanted to. So let's choose a different one. And then you just drag it over, click alternate. And then from there, and you'll see it's being triggered in there 
And then you could turn this down if you want. Or you could turn it off if you wanted, you know? So. It's kind of a weak signal, so you might have to go in there and tweak this. There you go. Whole new snare if you want to. You could do the same thing with the kick. You could do the same thing with the toms. That's what all these these channels are for. So, uh, but I'm not going to do that. that. Actually, sounds pretty good. I have to remember that Nashville rock snare. That's the one I have. This this is from the VR Music Group, by the way. This is the Everything Bundle. It's forty bucks for all that. But yeah, that's not what my. <laughs> I love how I'm upstaging myself here. It's like, oh, look at how much better these samples sound because they had like actual money to do things. That is what you can do with the samples. Uh, other than that, I don't really think there's anything else, but then just the nice thing about it is, is that these drums are, you know, they're, they're mix ready in a way, in a way, calm down. I know they're not actual blue. They're not real like professional drums, but it's like, but think about it. It's like when you download, okay. And I'm not, I don't want to call them out, but we're going to call some people out. Check this out. No, 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 no. We're not going to call these people out. You know why? We're not going to call them out because it's not their fault. We're going to open we're going to open something else. Here we go. Acoustic. So, this is like a rock beat. Okay? So, we're going to try to find anything. So, we're just going down. Vintage mono. And we don't need a mono kit. We don't need disco. We don't need brushes. We don't need a dirty slap kit. We don't need a loop maker. We don't need dramatic toms. We need a dry, dry kit. Dry pop kit. All right, that sounds... All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see how this sounds. Are you kidding? Did I press a button wrong? This is really how it sounds? That's, that's, really, that's really how it sounds. Okay, uh, heavy kit. Let's see if this is better. It's not better. I know that's. I yes, I know the mic, the MIDI mapping is not right. I get it, but still, that's oh yuck. All right, let's try this. Eric Gad Vintage Kit. Well, it's crashing my reason. It ain't even like, it's not even something that's not like included. There we go. Here, let me move. Let me move everything down for a fair. all over the place so it's, it's, it, it, then the, so that's what I mean so I, I, I'm doing normal normal MIDI mapping and it won't even it won't even MIDI map right uh, let's try Nashville kit see so so far we haven't found anything that sounds even remotely like modern music it, what is going on is there Oh, okay, but even still. Oh, here, hold on. So then I'll just move this. I just don't know why it all sounds so... There. It's not, this is the most decent out of all of them so far. Yeah, that sounds okay. Yeah, these are just ID8s. That's all, that's all it is. It's just some ID8. So yeah, that's not, yeah. I mean, it's decent. Um, let's try this. I actually do like the rock kick close. I'm not gonna yell and scream about this one. I remember it differently. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. It's, maybe you put a little room. It's not. It's not that bad. It's not. It's not that bad. That's that's decent. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there anything else that's even remotely 
mix ready, quote unquote. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just like, what? When am I going to use that? Maybe in, the, maybe in an intro or something. So it's like, so, so far, what, we found one? And these minted, vintage mono kids. Why do I want mono drums? Those, so rarely do you want, and I guarantee you this ain't metal. Watch this and see. And ain't even mono, it's like centery, mid-sidey weirdness. I don't even know what, so see, that's what I mean. So I can't even find anything. And then, but like I said, see how simple. Just like a standard drum kit. It's, like, it's just standard, it's normal. It, it's no weirdness in it. It's, I mean, listen to this. I feel like my head is drowning in mono. This is weird, you know? So anyway, so th this, this is the kit. So, and I'm, like I said, I'm going to do the other one with the church. Uh, I mean, the, we'll have multiple mic placements and you'll be able to do more with it and stuff like that. But this, you can just drag it in and get decent drums and you can then you can, you can tweak all the, the, the processing however you want. And if you want to put some crazy weird, effect on it you can if you want to slam it with compression you can it's all in the one combinator you know and all the mixing is done so then you don't have 30 billion tracks here too but then like i said so here real quick because i know this video has gone way longer than it needs to we can go to outboard processing oh no oh oh honey oh honey boo boo no we don't want to do that we want to actually open the mixer channel one <laughs> there so now you'll see all of them have been mapped to their own respective channel here. Um, and I don't even fully remember what this sounds like. I appear to have programmed something. Let's go through it and see. Okay, well, that, I don't, I don't know why I did that, but that's, feel free to use those if you want. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I didn't save the uh, freaking uh, sub kick for some reason. I'm going to have to go into the actual um, file and, and, and change that. I don't know why I didn't pull the, um, why I didn't pull it down. But anyway, so that's the kit. I hope you really like it. You can go to my website to um, to to download it. Within, I'm gonna I'm gonna set, within the next couple of, of days, um, if not already, you can go to my website now and look at it. Um, but yeah, I I hope that it's something that you guys can enjoy, and you can still like even within this. But it's nice because you can. It's in the SSL, you know? So this is with processing. So just so you know, so all of the original processing that we did is still live. Oh, Lord. Somebody Kickstarter me a tripod. So it's got a slightly different sound to it. But anyway, so, that, so all this processing is live. But the, oh, hold on. Before we go... I got to show you guys what it sounds like 
with no processing whatsoever. So no mixing. That's what this one is. And you're going to want to save these as your own actual like files because these are just the read only ones that come in the thing. So anyway, <laughs> all right. So here's the same. I just did. I just did levels. There's no processing except this one little high pass filter. There's no processing. So here's the same thing, but no internal processing. <laughs> So obviously the processing helps a lot. So, but if you felt like it, if you wanted to go from drum to drum and mix it yourself, you totally could. These are dry, which is nice. So anyway, so that's that's a Jordan's kit one. I'm hoping that I'm gonna do a new one with better, you know, obviously with better mics in a better room with a better blah, 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 blah. But uh, but it's free. This one's free. Is that nice? So, you know, it's like for all the all the free samples that everybody else gives, I want to be able to give one out. So um, and feel free just as a just so you guys know, feel free distribute it. I don't care. Use the samples. If you're going to sell the samples, I'd like to know about it. Don't just like sell them. So that's the only thing. Don't sell the refill as your own. It's like, but if you want to like put it in a pack of like a bunch of other drum samples or you want to give it to your friends or something like that, that's, I mean, that's fine. Just don't go around saying, oh yeah, I, I, I made this. You know, you didn't make it. I made it. So anyway, but yeah, sell all the music that you make with it. You know, I'd love to hear what you do with it, please. I, that'd be great. But anyway, and I hope I can find a way to edit this video down. Oh my Lord. How long have I been? Like 40 minutes, someone's gonna watch 40 minutes. I mean, maybe they will. I mean, I, if, I like long videos. I don't know if you guys do. I like long videos. I feel comforted when I see a long video. I don't know. So anyway, so th th this is the this is Jordan's Jordan's Kid Volume One. So I, I'm excited about it. So I hope you guys are too. Thanks for sticking with me for so long. But anyway, uh, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys download it, JordanFriday.com. Um, it should be up by now. I hope it will be. I'll make sure that it's up by now. Uh, so you can download it. I'll put the links in the description and everything. So uh, and then tell me what you guys think about it. Tell your friends, all that stuff. I will talk to you guys later. Take care.